What's going on guys? So I noticed a few of you have been asking for a grocery haul where we show you some of the items that we're purchasing as we're going through our spring cut, which means we're just on a pretty strong diet, trying to lose weight, we're trying to have that perfect summer body, and I feel like we're doing pretty dang good right now. We're on track. We actually started a month earlier compared to a lot of other people who are just now starting to cut down for their spring and summer diet. So I feel like we're doing really good. But today I thought, you know what? That sounds like a really good idea. I'm gonna bring you to Sam's Club and Sprouts because right now that's just where we do the bulk of our grocery shopping. But first, real quick, I just wanna say a few things. Number one, this channel is now monetized. I really appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in to this other channel. And ever since I started this channel back on January the 1st, I feel like I have finally found that perfect balance that I've been trying to look for. I just feel like I've been so incredibly happy lately with my work and life balance and this other channel has just really helped out a lot and I'm just very grateful and blessed. The second thing is a lot of you left really good comments in our last video where we went to go look at homes in Claremont, Florida. I actually learned a few things, a few very important things that I never thought to think of when buying a home and building a home and things that we need to just get done now before we move in. So again, I'm just very grateful that you guys come on here, you find some joy and entertainment with these videos and you also help me out a lot. And that's why anytime I have a question that I just need more advice on, I need more information, I know I can count on you guys and Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm actually going to talk a little bit more about our home buying process at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. But for now, let's go grocery shopping. We're going to start at Sam's Club, our favorite. We have our eggs. I'm trying this for the first time, grilled chicken breast. These have 29 grams of protein per breast. This is going to be nice on the go. We have our sour cream. We have our coffee, aluminum foil sheets chicken breast, our protein shakes. I love these. We have our peppers, unsweet tea, cups. Bianca found this knife set for what, $16? And it comes with a cutting board. And then we have these bear, just bear nuggets. These are really good in the air fryer. What else did you find, babe? Croissant toast. I've never Croissant seen this before. It's four dollars, <laughs> and it's still warm. <laughs> I, I can't commit, but you know. I just wanted you to do show you. you. I don't know if I'm getting it, but it's it's warm. Oh my gosh, it is. It's just fresh out the oven. Finally, we have our water down there. I have always wanted to purchase my own kayak. <laughs> you can buy one here at Sam's for two hundred and fifty dollars. I just want to be out a lot more doing outdoor things during the summer. Time. They still have the open box pro form treadmill that we've been keeping our eyes on. They really should discount this. I mean, I don't think it's damaged, but if they were to discount this, I would probably buy it. We have also been looking to purchase new patio furniture because we have been spending a lot of time outside soaking up our fresh vitamin D from the sun. Sam's Club has really good options. We are now here at Sprouts. We love buying pretty much all of our meat and seafood from here. I mean, look how beautiful all of the seafood looks. They have mahi-mahi, swordfish, wild ahi tuna. We just got the rest of this island jerk salmon, shrimp, lobster tails, and then here's the meat section. I love getting steak from here. Also have some bacon down here that we like. We also like to get our deli meat here and then the best chocolate chip cookies ever. I do feel very guilty buying these, but they are vegan, but these are absolutely delicious. Don't miss these at your local Sprouts. I love these chicken and maple breakfast sausages for in the morning because, you know, I don't want to eat bacon every single day. And then I'm really kind of tired of eating pork but these are a game changer. I have been loving this Ezekiel bread. 
specifically the sesame one because it's flourless and it's just all around healthier if you're going to eat bread. I really wanna stop eating bread, but just because I can't, I recommend this brand. We also love these apples. They have a nice sweetness to them and they just taste really good with some Greek yogurt. Ooh, cinnamon oat. I've never tried this flavor. I'm gonna give it a try. These are absolutely delicious. And then we are trying these for the first time because Bianca saw these on YouTube shorts or something. A lot of people are saying how good these are. Have some salad, tomatoes, and then we have our orange juice. And I think that's going to do it. I'm at Walmart now. I dropped Bianca off because she wanted to get dinner started. I don't know, man. I guess the older I've gotten the grocery store, it's just not fun anymore. It feels like a chore. We did not need too much from Walmart. I got asparagus because Bianca's making salmon tonight. I love these strawberry core power protein shakes, some parsley flakes, milk for Adri, and then we need toilet paper. I'm back home and what a surprise. It looks like Bianca's making a green juice smoothie. Yes, this is my favorite like little detox smoothie. It's very healthy for you. I do about two bunches of baby spinach. I'm gonna do some mango, some strawberries. I am gonna add a whole banana. And then I like to add collagen peptides. Um, this is the unflavored one. It's about 20 grams mm. of uh, collagen per serving, which is protein. So 20 grams of protein. Even better. And then we're gonna split this. We already had a cookie. Oh no, don't tell them. <laughs> just one though. <laughs> yeah, just one. Bianca doesn't wanna be on camera right now because she is in her pajamas, which it's fine. You know, she's making dinner and taking care of business around the house. But anyway, let's try this green drink. That's good. It's really good. This is nice because I was just about to say, Bianca put fiber in here and you know, fiber is very important with just digestion. Then you have fruit, you have some added protein from the collagen. Very good, babe. I think we're gonna try to have one a day mm -hmm. moving forward. Yes, and then we're gonna try to eat more fish. We have been eating more We've fish. We've been doing it about two to three times a week, just yep. incorporating healthier protein. She's been making salmon a lot. Tilapia. And I made Dover Soul. And she made Dover Soul the other night, which was delicious. And then we went to her parents' house this last weekend and her dad made grilled salmon. salmon. Yeah, it was so good. <laughs> I've been missing out on seafood my whole life. I'm glad I'm finally able to enjoy just about all seafood. There's still a few things I haven't tried, but I'm working my way up. You're a Florida boy. I'm a Florida boy. <laughs> oh my goodness, babe. This smells amazing. Wow. So we have our salmon that's marinated in Caribbean jerk. What else do we have here? I made rice pilaf, and then I also did some asparagus for the side. And we have our lemon. Hey, wow. <laughs> Gonna squeeze some fresh lemon on top. I am so thankful for Bianca because Aww. she can really do it up in the kitchen. <laughs> I can. Just give me a few ingredients. I'm yeah. gonna make a banger meal. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's dinner time. Look at this. Oh my, I am so excited to eat this. That salmon was amazing. It had great taste to it. It was a bit spicy. I really enjoy spice, but Bianca can't handle as much spice as I can. She said it was pretty hot, but you know, it was seasoned with those Caribbean spices, which I love. And one thing that I really enjoy about eating salmon is how hearty that fish is because every time I finish eating salmon, I always feel so stuffed because, you know, salmon is a lot of protein. The serving I just ate, 39 grams of protein. And I think the thing that was holding me back for so long from enjoying fish specifically was I just did not like the taste of fish, you know, when it's fishy, but when it's well seasoned and well cooked, I mean, Boy, oh boy, it is a delight to enjoy. I also think it really depends on how fresh your fish is and where you buy your fish from, because when we go to the grocery store, and I just learned this from Bianca and just, you know, getting my own knowledge from the internet, you always wanna try to go with wild caught fish over farm fish. And, you know, I think that really does make a difference. And we've been buying a lot of our fish from Sprouts and Publix and, I trust those stores. Now that we're enjoying salmon, babe, yeah. when we go back to Alaska, we 
You gotta try that salmon bait. I think that's a good idea. I'm booking it right now. <laughs> Getting ready to feed the fish now, but twice a week I will add these different formulas inside of the tank because you know, this is a natural reef system. So I have to take care of mother nature so mother nature can take care of the tank. And I'm gonna add these in, feed them, and they'll be good to go. Finishing out the night playing some Call of Duty. Season two just came out today. So we have new maps, new weapons, new operators, all the good stuff. By the way, I purchased a gaming laptop and I'm in love. Gaming on a PC is so much better. The gameplay is a lot smoother. The graphics are insane. And it's just overall a fun experience. More fun than gaming on the PlayStation 5. I mean, of course, I'm still going to use my PlayStation 5, but there's nothing like gaming on a PC. And I decided to go with the gaming laptop just because I can bring it when we travel and I can play Call of Duty or any other games that I'm playing in my downtime. So this was a great purchase. I've been enjoying every single minute. This is my gaming notebook that I decided to go with just because of the amazing reviews and I love the specs on the Intel processor. And then for my mouse, I went with the Viper Pro version two. And yeah, I've just been really enjoying this setup. It is actually the next day as I'm filming this part of the video, but dinner last night was delicious. Bianca did a outstanding job preparing that salmon dish. It was very good. And then I just finished out the evening playing Call of Duty season two. I have been loving gaming lately. I always have, especially in high school and college. And then when I moved down here, I just stopped gaming because I was always on the go. There's just so much to do here in Florida. It's just been nonstop, but I feel like now that I've gotten a little bit older, my life has slowed down a little bit. It's still chaotic, but it has slowed down. I'm able to just have a nice escape from everything that may be going on during that day and just in life, I'm able just to open up my laptop here and play games and just get lost in whatever world that I'm in as I'm gaming. It's just such a awesome thing. But I do have a question for any gamers that may be watching this video right now. I'm looking to purchase a gaming monitor. Right now, I've been looking into the LG Ultra Gear. I've been hearing really good things about that, but I feel like there are better ones just because I love the high definition and just the graphics of games on a computer. So I just want to kind of up that level quite a bit. So if you know of any really good gaming monitors, let me know down in the comments. I've been looking into Samsung ones as well. Regarding buying a home, it's going good. It's just incredibly stressful and I've heard it's very stressful buying a home, but now that I'm like living in it, it's very, very stressful. We were actually supposed to be on a cruise this week, which was the second sailing on Icon of the Seas, World Caribbean's brand new ship. I ended up moving our cruise back a little bit for a few different reasons. Number one, just because we have so much going on with this home buying process. I'm just trying to get all of my ducks in a row. And then second, I've seen a few blogs and videos from Icon of the Seas. It looks like a really fun ship, but it is very expensive to cruise on Icon of the Seas right now. And I just really wasn't liking everything that I was seeing. I mean, we're still going to get on there, so I can't give you like a, a review yet because I haven't been on it yet. But just from everything I've seen and heard, I'm not too sold on it, especially because it is so expensive. And then, you know, when you cruise on any inaugural cruises, the cruise ship and the crew are still working through kinks and such. So for those reasons, I just feel like pushing it back a little bit was the best thing. And Hopefully by the time we get on the cruise ship, which is not that far away, it's actually coming up. We just pushed it back just a little bit to give us some more time. I don't think a lot of people realize how crazy the market is here in Florida. There's people moving here from out of state every single day with cash in hand. And when you're looking to buy this home, you're looking to make a move on this home and another buyer comes in with cash in hand, you then get put behind 
those people with cash in hand because, you know, obviously we're not buying our home in all cash. I wish we could, but we just can't do that right now. It is what it is. We did find a home that we absolutely love that we want to have built. However, that home will not be ready until the very end of this year. And then we also found this other home that was just built about a year ago that looks incredible. The price is incredible. And if we go with this home, we don't have to pay a deposit on the house. We just have to pay for, you know, the down payment and closing costs, whatever. But I feel like if we go in that direction, the seller would probably pay for all of the closing costs. I don't know that 100% yet. I'm still waiting to hear back on that situation. And then if you go in this other direction, which is to build your own home, it's awesome because you get to design everything and you're the first people to live in your home. I mean, that's a great perk within itself. But when you build a home, you have to put down a $20,000 deposit and then you have to wait for the home to be built. And then you get to go out to the design studio. You get to pick out pretty much everything that you want inside of your home. Of course, that's an upcharge. So that's more money on top of the already existing purchase of your home. That can add up, but it is what it is with that situation. So there's just a lot more fees when it comes to building a home, which by the way, for anybody watching, if I could offer a piece of advice that I really recommend is to have a financial advisor to help you with your finances because having a financial advisor is very beneficial. Also, put money in stocks. I plan to put at least 10% of my yearly income into stocks this year and then I just want to continue the cycle because I know some people who put money in stocks and they don't even have to work anymore. So again, uh, those are two things that I would highly recommend to anybody, especially in my age and my generation. As stressful as it is, I know it will pay off in the long run because there's just nothing like owning your own property. And, you know, I feel like that is the best investment that anybody can make in their life is owning property because property will always be in demand. We'll see what happens either way. <laughs> it's just stressful, man. It really is. I don't know if I should make the move now or I don't know if I should make the move a little closer to election because everybody's saying the rates will drop this summer. But, you know, I feel like when the rates do drop, everybody is going to hop on and it's just going to make um, everything a lot harder as far as inventory and just things like that. I feel like the price of homes will increase a lot more once the rates drop just because there's going to be so many people trying to buy a home when the rates do drop so i feel like the home value right now is pretty fair because i know the prices will jump up a lot but then again your rates are going to drop as well i know you can always refinance in the future and that's honestly what i'm considering it's just a lot. It really is. I think that's enough rambling from me. I think I'm going to put a pause on talking about our home buying process for now until a move happens just because when I talk about it, I get stressed and I get anxious just because I feel like talking about buying a home is just constantly on my mind right now. And when you start talking to lenders and your real estate agent and just things like that, it starts to get very real and it's a lot. Anyway, I hope you learned something new from today's video. I also hope that I was able to help you pick out some healthier options when you're trying to lose weight and just cut down. I feel like changing up your lifestyle should be very important. And the first thing that you have to do to get started, you don't have to start going to the gym. You have to start with changing up what you're eating because that is a huge factor of everything when it comes to being healthy and trying to lose weight or trying to put on muscle you have to put in things that's going to bring value to your body that's going to bring you energy that's going to benefit you throughout your day so eating is first change up what you're eating stop taking in sugar cut out sugar i mean you can still have a little bit of sugar but you really have to cut it out and 
I mean, I've cut out sugar and my stomach is very flat right now. My abs are coming in and uh, I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life right now. And every day I wake up, I just think to myself, what can I do to make myself even better today to reach my goal? And you gotta have a goal. So once you're eating better, you have goals in mind, start walking 30 minutes a day. Just walk for 30 minutes a day or try to get 10,000 steps per day. And then once you're doing those three things, you will notice a difference. And then I would say, start going to the gym and start lifting weights. And then, you know, who knows where you could go from there. That's what I did, that's what Bianca did. And we really changed our lives just by doing those few things. Thank you for watching, I love you all, and I will see you in the next video.